Look at the oh. gap opening up behind. Chavez in the background in third position coming to Izaguru. But Richie Port, he's now within 750 metres of the finish. But it's hard, hard, hard all the way up. Those legs must be screaming at him right now. He's gone so early. This will either be a, a spectacular failure, otherwise he's going to nail a big victory margin here. Phil, since he has gone, he has not sat down out of the saddle the whole way. Those quads will be absolutely screaming, but he knows this is where he can win the race. Chavez now riding in second position. Is Aguirre nailed to his will. Kelderman further back and yeah. the rest of the field absolutely distance. Richie sits down for the first time. He's over the steepest part of the climb. He'll be going through the KOM and making that left-hand turn. They will not catch him. And the man who wins here, or the man who won here two years ago, his teammate uh, now, Rowan Dennis, uh, went on to win the race in a few days' time. Port has kept this uh, right until the very last moment. He must have known how good he was feeling to go so soon. 300 metres to go. The man who is being groomed by Team BMC as the strike man in this summer's Tour de France is laying the foundations here on Paracombe as he comes to 200 metres. Look at the time gaps. This man who has lost this race on three occasions by just seconds is now getting seconds for himself in the bank. This is a superb performance by Richie Port as he stomps on those pedals. Remember, for the last three years, he's never been beaten on Wollonga Hill, and now he's won even earlier on Paracomb itself. The clock counts down right now. Gorka is a gear up who nearly made it a perfect day out for Team Bobby Star. He's going to make it second, Chavez is third.